I wish I could verbalize how special Warren Wolf is. He's one of the few musicians I've met in the last decade who just has me incredibly excited beyond anything I could ever communicate. You know, uh, his talent is so far off the radar screen. I mean, he's a fantastic vibraphonist. He has these incredibly quick ears. N nothing is too far of a learning curve for him. Uh, I've seen him play some of the most difficult music with like one go round, and then he's got it. You know, he's internalized it. He doesn't really need to look at the music anymore. Uh, he's hungry. He wants to be out there playing with the best musicians possible. Everything that you want in a musician, he has that times 20. And um, he plays piano, he plays drums, he's a uh, multi-instrumentalist. But even more than that, what makes, him, what makes all of his musical qualities so great is the fact that he's such a beautiful person. You know, underneath all that brawn and brass is this uh, sweet-hearted person. And you just want to be around him. He's quick to laughter. Um, very, very sweet person. I love him a lot. Um, I first started on the Vibes and the Marimba when I was a child, when I was about three years old. My father, Warren Wolf Sr., well, he actually started when I was born, which was November of 1979. Um, he bought his first set of vibraphones, and when I was, you know, when I was about the, the age of three, that's when I was able to communicate with my dad, and um, he started me started giving me lessons when I was a child. He would sit me up on a stool, and I would just play, you know, little teeny melodies, you know, ABCs and things like that. And um, eventually, as time went on, I started going to Peabody uh, Preparatory for about 13 years, on to Baltimore School for the Performing Arts, to Berklee College of Music, and on to the professional career. Charlie Parker was my main influence. Um, when it comes to my instrument in general, it's always been either Milt Jackson or Bobby Hutchison. Those two were the ones that got me started. Uh, you know, find, as far as learning different ideas when it came to the vibraphone. But generally, I'm the type of person I've always been attracted to more horn players or piano players, Charlie Parker, Miles Davis, Chick Corea, Herbie Hancock, those type of guys. One of the major parts of my job as an A&R executive is to really uh, help unearth and develop a new talent. And that's probably the most exciting thing about this session because Warren Wolf is one of those rare individuals that comes along maybe once or twice in a person's career uh, who has the potential to move the whole music forward because of his prodigious talent, his outsized personality, and um, the respect that uh, he has already at such a young age uh, with his fellow members, his fellow artists on the bandstand. So for me, it's um, a large focus of what I hope I can accomplish as an A&R guy and just as a fan of the music to be around someone that you know is going to have that kind of impact on the music overall is very exciting. I was very excited about producing this recording because, as I said earlier, I'm so excited about Warren and so madly in love with him as a person and as a musician. I just hope that he would be okay with me producing his recording because I think we're in a time in jazz right now where it's, in, it's almost, um, this is a reminder time. I think a lot of musicians uh, you know, in the jazz world, was so interested in pushing the envelope and always trying to come up with quote unquote new ways and new sounds. Uh, sometimes you forget what's at the root, what's coming, you know, where do these new things come from, you know? Uh, and I think Warren is one of these people who has the duality to be able to create all of these new 
uh, this new, fresh, exciting language, but still keep it in the pocket, still keep it rooted, you know? Um, and that's what made me want to produce them because we both see eye to eye when it comes to that. There, there's concept, there's playing your butt off, and there's the combination of the two, you know? And Warren, to me, is the exemplification of both. Well, music, it's my world, I'll just say that for starters. Um, I'm, when I do my compositions, or even when it comes to playing, I'm always trying to create some type of melody that the average listener can always agree with. Somebody, something that they can sing, something that uh, they can always hum in their head. I don't always try to um, create difficult music. I interpret that through, through everyday life in so many different ways, you know, just listening to music on the radio, everything is just recognizable. I just want my music to be just like that. Mm -hmm.